G'day guys, welcome to the Odd Couple Stature Reviews, this is Jason. And this is Adrian. And today we're doing Batgirl Premium Format um, from Sideshow Collectibles. 2,500 of these made in the year 2015. We'll be right back. Welcome back guys, so here we are, we're doing uh, Batgirl Premium Batgirl. Format, Barbara Gordon, daughter of Commissioner and Gordon. And if, if you actually read through the Killing Joke, you'll know it's a big yeah, part of the yeah, story. Yeah, a real big part Batgirl. of the story. Yeah, um, not, not the story from the animated film, no, guys. No, so no, okay, no, the, the comic book, comic, comic book. book. Remember, every time we're saying Killing Joke, we're referring to the, the comic, comic book, not, that not, the, not that abomination of a film. Um, yeah. So, look guys, uh, backstory on her is pretty simple. Yeah, very, 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 very simple. Very okay. simple. Um, basically, she was at a fancy dress party when Batman first sort of come out. Her dad being the commissioner of police, used to come home all the time regaling their children with stories of what well, Batman had the done. Mighty Batman. The mighty Batman, mighty Batman, protector of Gotham and all this sort of stuff. So she grew up idolising him. And I believe it was a uh, fancy dress at a ball. Yes, that yeah. She attended. Um, yeah, anyway, so, so fancy dress at a ball, she showed up, you know, everything was going good and I believe it was actually getting robbed, if I'm correct That's in correct, the story. Yeah. And she yes, some armed um, guys came in to try yeah. and, uh, So it was like a high society ball, so they knew that the people there had a bit of coin. You know, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, and uh, well, she basically stopped it, looked pretty good in front of everyone. I think she was swamped by media, if I caught... Yeah, she was swamped by media, and uh, basically they are... Um, they actually said, you know, because like, Batman, I believe, was just coming up in that story, yeah, yeah. Uh, like at that time. Um, and Robin, saying, Robin had just joined yeah. him, so they knew that he was a sidekick. sidekick. Yeah. So they basically, media would, would question uh, Batgirl to see if, you know, are you the new sidekick of uh, Batman, and I think she just went with it. She's just gone. Yeah. Why not? That if if you were in the position. Look, look, what it was, too, it wasn't she was trying to, like, force away onto the team or anything like that. She just didn't want people to put two and two together that she was Barbara Gordon, you know, the commissioner's daughter. I think, so. I, I think we should just leave that for destiny. Yeah. It's just destiny, all right? We'll just, we'll just leave it there. <laughs> but um, look, uh, she had it was an amazing character of her own right. Um, after the events of The Killing Joke, she became a character called Oracle. Now, in the Justice League comics and stuff like that, and even in a few of the animated films, uh, Oracle became like the centre of information. She was always gifted with computers. She was a librarian. After the Broken Back incident. Yeah, so after the Broken Back incident <coughs> from the Joker. Killing, killing um, joke. She was bound to a wheelchair and became Oracle. Um, since she's come back as Batgirl after Rebirth, so yeah, no more Oracle back as Batgirl. Um, look. Amazing sculpt and character, the same as all the ones in this early Gotham line series. Yeah, the yeah. base bases all remain sort of similar. Um, this one's got like the the symbols, um, like the like the symbols of the different houses and stuff like that of um, of Gotham City. So yeah, continues that thing. It's got little bats around here on the inside ring, and it looks like she's standing um, sort of like on a, on a dance floor or something to sort of yeah. symbolise. When the the event took place, when yep. she became Batgirl. Yeah. Um, look, I love the paint up on this. You know, yeah, the, the paint, paint up, up on this is done really well. The gold really pops. Um, the dark blue is really nice, nicely coloured dark blue. Um, I love the way that she's just so, standing there casually with the batarang. You know, like she's, you know, just pretty wry and smiley and really enjoying herself. Mm -hmm. um, this is the collector's edition, guys. So the exclusive actually comes with an alternate head sculpt with a different hairdo. Not a real big fan of that hairdo. It was sort of like. Uh, more throwback to the 60s origin look. Um, I prefer this look, which is sort of like the more origin look. Yeah, what I was about to say also is that um, I'm with Jason with all the pros and stuff. I've got a few cons actually yeah, for yeah. this statue. Um, first of all would be the cape for me. Uh, I don't really like it too much. I prefer maybe another material I think it would look better. I find it just gets too much flailed out stuff, just the way that, well, okay, the, material, yeah. the exact material that they used. And it would be the hair also would be the second point. So I've got two cons for the statue. Okay. I don't like the hair. I think they could have done a better job on it, to be honest. It looks maybe a bit too bunched together, in my opinion. 
I think it would look better, a bit more spread out. Better. We'll sh show people what we're talking about here, because you'll see it in the close-up too. Um, look, and that's really just got to do with all, all the back, as Joseph was saying, the paint up's perfect, and really the stance and so forth. And you know what it is too, look, with the cape, there, there's a, a skill to posing these things, and I'm not one of these very skilled posers, um, so, yeah, with the cape, that's what it is. It's one of these uh, posable, like, uh, leather capes with the wire uh, bones through it sort of thing, so you can pose it, flare it out, and stuff like that, um, any which way you want. I tend to like like keeping it tucked away at the back so it doesn't detract from the statue too much. Yep. Um, because the body sculpt, again, absolutely fantastic. Um, spot on. I really like the face sculpt. It really looks like Barbara Gordon from the comics. Um, now, a lot of people that don't like it, you know, they think that they know Batgirl from like, the Arkham Asylum games and stuff like that, you know. That's not that Batgirl. This is Batgirl from the comics. Um, yep. And yeah, I think they've done really, really well with the homage to it. I am with you, maybe a sculpted cape could have been better. That's what, th oh, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I mean, like, 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 these, these, these sort of capes that are great for the six scales, hot toys and stuff like that, because yep. they're meant to be posed and all that sort of stuff. With this, I mean, look, the bonus part of this is to, if you've got limited space, yep. like if you had the sculpted cape, it would probably flare out to here or something like that, right? So if you've got a limited space and you're yeah, like packing them in, you, you, you can, like as I said, just pack it away sort of thing like that and it doesn't detract from the statue at all. And, but yeah, it, it doesn't really, but usually when you buy a statue of a cape, you want to show it. Yeah. Well, see, this is why we're the odd couple, guys. We don't always agree. <laughs> but anyway, um, look, I, I really like the I like the paint app. I like the sculpt. Um, the base is fantastic. Continues that theme with the other ones that we've done tonight. Yeah, it's more like a, a killing joke, basically. Yeah, basically the same. Well, it's, it's, it's more like a homage to Gotham City. Yeah. You know, like with the bases and it's the, like the different like the, personalities of the different people. If you look at the Harley Quinn and Joker, they're all similar, but then they've got their own variations to suit the character. So they've done it perfectly in all the three we've done. Yeah. Um, that associated a bit with each other. I think they've done it perfect. And, and usually it's with the origin story. Like with the Joker and Harley Quinn, it's more of like the fun land kind of thing. And this one, like for us, when we just said the origin, it looks just like the ballroom. Yeah. It, 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 I think that's what they're going for. If not, just let us know because, um, yeah. That's what and I also, I mean, um, look, she has been very important through the history of the DC Universe. Now, uh, she was also part of a team called Birds of Prey, which was basically yeah, her, Huntress. Black Canary, and, and Huntress. Yeah. yeah. So they were like the female protectors of Gotham, you know, so they used to go up a lot against Poison Ivy and characters like that. Um, you know, ones that the men had problems with. You know, like yeah. Poison Ivy. <laughs> Well, oh, I'm in love with you. <laughs> you know, so yeah, the girls are going. That crap wouldn't work with it. Yeah. Um, so, but yeah, absolutely amazing. Right, so, piece. Jason, what's your rating for this statue? Um, look, with you, I'm not a big fan of the cape. I understand why they went with it that way, but I would have preferred maybe a sculpted cape or just a plain fabric cape that just drooped. You know. Um, but then in saying that, keeping true to the character, I mean, the capes were like that. They were a bit bony, so when they could glide and stuff like that, when they jumped off buildings and, 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 and such. So I can understand why they've gone that way. Um, but yeah, with you, same thing. I'm going to detract the point just for the cape. Hairstyle, I don't have a problem with it. I actually like that hairstyle. There's the, as I said, there's the exclusive hairstyle, which is more like just a classic 60s swept back, which look more like from that scene in the comics where yeah. she becomes Batgirl. But um, yeah, other than that, I think she's absolutely fantastic. Really like it. It's a modern take on the classic Batgirl. And yeah, really big fan of it. And gonna give her a 9. All right, fair enough. Uh, with my rating, I'm not giving an actual rating as usual. I'm giving a yes or no. I'll have to give it a thumbs down. Really? Uh, giving it the no? One. It's because, just basing off the statue, I reckon they Yeah, let me turn it around so you can look at it from the front. You've just been staring at the back. You're gonna <laughs> give that a no. <laughs> I'm going to give that a no. Listen, I'm going to have to give it a no because, um, wow. the cape, look, the cape and the head. And he up. says he's a Batman fan, guys. He I, says I, he's I, a Batman look, fan. Listen, the reason I give it a no is that it may be just the cape and the hair, but to me, for this statue, the cape's really out there, so you can't avoid it, and the hair's really out there also. Mm. So it's continuously being looked at. So if you have problems with major components of a statue, you usually find that you don't like it as much. Yep. And when you compare, no, I'm sure, look, I, honestly, I'm sure there's people out there that feel the same way as you. Or they're just hating on me right now. They're probably looking at me like you bastard. Please don't give us a thumbs down. Remember, I like it, guys. <laughs> okay? Just because he doesn't like it doesn't mean we don't like it. All right? Oh, man. Yeah, <laughs> it's in my collection for a reason, and I'm going to get rid gotta, of it. Look, you've got to keep objective, though. Yeah, that's what I mean. Now, look, we pride ourselves on honest reviews, and that's why we call ourselves the Yacht Cup. We don't always agree. He likes different things than me. I'm right into the comics and stuff like that. He likes the movies. I'm into 
<laughs> fantasy ones like Vampirella and Red Sonya and stuff like that. He couldn't care less. He's more into like his World of Warcraft stuff. So that's why we collect our collection so varied and vast. You know, and I think yeah. it helps us as collectors. There's two of us with two different takes on things. You fight too. We don't, but we don't always see eye to eye. I mean, we all walk out of here lovey dovey. So it's all good. We have a beer together at the end of the review and can't <laughs> complain. But look, guys, that's our thoughts and feelings on the piece. Hope you enjoyed the review. Happy collecting. Don't argue with your collecting partners like we do. And, um, no, but anyway, just, just enjoy yourself, guys. Enjoy the close-up and remember to like and subscribe. Thanks very much, guys. See you, guys.